evening, welcome uh, to my video. I'm Jan van Nijenrode and I'm active in the SCA and I like to make armor. And what will I be showing you today is how to make plastic knee cups, elbow cups. Um, I'll be making these out of 3mm ABS, which in its you know, normal flat state is quite flexible, but once it's shaped, you get this very nice solid piece. I'll just show it a little bit closer to, to the camera, um, which is perfect for loaner gear, starter gear, hidden armor, whatever you need. Um, it's light uh, because of its thickness and you know it being plastic, you don't get armor bites that easily. And um, you know once you've got the, the, the steel mold, I'll be making it in, uh, you can easily have people, beginners, work on their own armor, uh, you know, in, in like 20 minutes, they've got their knees, uh, elbows, uh, and they've made it themselves. They don't need specialized skill, uh, what in my experience you need when you do metal work. Um, and once, once you're good in metal work, you think like it's quite easy, but I've experienced that starters find it quite daunting and there's a steep learning curve in working with metal. And also, generally speaking, the, the work required to get it up to a nice finish is a little bit more than with plastic. And, you know, for loaner gear, starter gear, I think this is an excellent way to get people on the field. So, what do you need to be able to make this knee cup? Well, I'm using a steel mold. And I've got a inner mold and an outer mold. It is the two-piece pattern of Lord Alexander of Turlington, and it's just lightly welded up, uh, cleaned up, rough from the hammer, nothing special. This is just one and a half millimeter mild steel, easily enough, and they nest very nicely into each other. Uh, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna heat up the ABS to 200 degrees Celsius and squash it in between these two molds. They're a little bit oversized, so what you get is some excess material around it, which you can then, um, with a heat gun and a pipe, which you see over here, you can shape into the flange of the soup can. If you don't want to have a flange, you can just trim it away and maybe even make articulated plastic knees. Um, and be sure to, when you put it in the oven, have a flat steel plate. Um, any shaping in it will transfer into the soup can. Now, one of the first uh, I did, I was so, uh, stupid enough to put it on the uh, top of a Dremel box and I had the imprint of Dremel on my knee. So, not a good idea. Also, use baking paper because, else, you know, with the 200 degrees Celsius, the ABS is very close to its melting temperature um, and else it will stick to the metal. So, you want to ensure that it comes clean off, relatively clean off. Also, you will need some gloves because, you know, 200 degrees Celsius is a little bit too hot to handle with your, um, just with your hands. And you need the heat gun for, you know, the final bit tweaking. Um, that's pretty much it. Nothing too exciting. So I suppose we just get cracking. I've put a piece of uh, roll of tape over here just to ensure that when I've got my new metal form, I've, you know, it, it's got something a little bit more support than just the flat surface of my kitchen. Um, I was already so far to put something in the oven, so it's uh, 10 minutes, uh, just enough to ensure that the heat has gone through completely. So I'll just take it out of the oven. Because I've got a little bit of excess, um, it doesn't come quite as relevant, eh? it doesn't come quite as precise on how it fits, but you need to work fast. And you know, that's also quite handy because oh, I touched it by accident and just press. That's it. Not the I'll just move this away a little bit. Okay, and just wait a little bit so that. Down. That's it. 